Welcome to the eFront How-To video series. Courses, along with users, are the two fundamental elements that comprise the backbone of your entire training. Let's see how you can create your first course and kickstart your training. Let's add a new course, give it a name, and then define its properties. This can be anything from its category and type of course to advanced settings like its availability, its prerequisites, and the certification it comes with. Hit the Add button and let's start adding some content. The fastest way to do this is to simply drag and drop your files into this area. A unit will be automatically created for each file added. Alternatively, you can add more content using the Add Content button. From here, you can add another unit, a test, a survey, an assignment, or even clone a unit from another course. You can also add extra material to the course such as additional files through the Go To Files option. Now let's move on to lessons. A lesson is automatically created for every new course. Lessons are a collection of the course's units and can help you organize and manage your content more effectively. You can choose to reuse a lesson from a different course or create a brand new one. As you can see, the two lessons that were created are now clearly visible in the course's dashboard. Once you've uploaded and organized your content, the order of units and lessons can easily be rearranged by using the edit mode. Before launching your course, another important setting to consider is to define its completion rules here. For example, you can set a course to be complete only when a learner has completed all tests and all units. Moving on to the rest of the tabs, you can assign the course to a specific branch, skill, or job function. Make sure you've created these beforehand. Lastly, don't forget to enroll users to your course just like this. Through this page, you can also change the status of your users, their completion date, score, reset or synchronize their progress, and even extend access to an expired course. You can perform these actions for more than one user at once by selecting multiple users and then changing this information in mass here. To view all stats associated with your course, don't forget to check out the Reports section. That's pretty much it. Go ahead and start building your training course by course. eFront.